Alright. Yeah, what up? Alright. What up? Yeah, I'm recording. You're such a. And I'm gonna. In your. Yes, I'm back. You can all calm down now. I hope you've all had a Have holy, holy jolly Christmas. Anyway, where were we? Ah uh, yes, back to that Sigma male grind set. Using the forbidden techniques we learnt last episode, I have truly become a Kitillionaire. We have successfully secured diamonds and now we are on our way to making our first nether portal. Things are looking up. Much like my earnings from this channel. Fuck no baby! <laughs> Not wanting to be a cheater, I started off by trying to do the Pumpkin Villager quest. However, due to the unfortunate interactions of one of the mods, also due to my own stupidity, I only got as far as causing this hole in the ground. <laughs> nice. Speaking of being stupid, my friends were not subjoining me while I was recording and saying things that go against the advertiser-friendly guidelines. Dude, you guys, you guys are so good at making content for me. Oh my god, I'm gonna use... You guys are literally too funny. I'm gonna have to cut all of this out. Yeah, I am recording. Oh, okay. Well now, well now I can't use it. When, when you are, when, when you. What the hell? Hold up! Oh, God. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. You're kind of a. <laughs> do you want me? Do you want me? To, do you want me to edit that or what? Like I don't get where that's going. <laughs> After having to mentally deal with juggling 8 adult males in a discord call, I finally found lava, meaning I can finally get that enchanting table and nether portal. With the nether portal complete, it was time to go in. To the nether. It's pretty fucking self-explanatory. Looking around, there's not a lot different from regular Minecraft, but I was still playing it quite safe. What did I need to do in the nether again? Oh yeah, I needed nether bricks for my blast furnace. Do be warned I, that I uh, completely forgot what I was doing and yeah, I just built a little structure to keep myself safe in. What is that? Now that I had a little platform in the sky to hold out in, a campfire to stop the constant draining of my sanity, although it doesn't increase it at all, I saw a blue coming from something, I don't know, whatever that thing in the background is, it's dead now. And now that I have a somewhat safe base, a somewhat safe area in the nether, somewhat okay gear, and somewhat decent intellectual skills, my next target was to go explore around and try and find something else as I'm getting pretty bored of just sitting around and progressing around 1% of the mod pack every 6 hours. I began by making more obsidian as I didn't grab enough when I first found lava, but luckily enough the nether spawned lava everywhere as well as these crystals that I can use to make lava buckets. I also forgot to mention, but since it's in the corner, 
I got like just enough of that wood to start doing the Book of Shadows stuff, but I'm currently softlocked due to not being able to get any more of the wood, so I kind of will just ignore it until I can find some more. Next on my hit list was to kill these things. I don't know what they are, but they are beefy as all hell and I'd rather live my life not knowing what they are like to deal with normally. Anyway, here's what happened when I did deal with them normally because of course I fucked up. After quickly getting my stuff back, I realized that I never fall for that one again, and moved on. Later, after doing some exploring, I found a random structure. I game mechanics the shit out of the mobs and ran away with a brand new diamond axe. Afterwards, I created a very suspicious bridge and ran out of blocks. Also, all my armor is in the red. I'm running out of iron, food, wood, coal, and practically everything else. So it was about damn time to get off my ass and start grinding the shit out of my resources. This time, I decided I was finally ready to go cave diving, as this mod seems to remove a lot of ores from strip mining, so I was feeling pretty forced to grind out in caves. And I'm glad I did. Within literally one cave, I became stacked. So much coal, plenty of iron, and a few other resources I'll need for endgame. Within a span of 15 minutes, I had tripled my net worth. Once again, much like this channel. With this abundance of resources at my disposal, I began steamrolling my way through the content. Using more torches and making more base upgrades, which everyone's been telling me to do. I made a new shield, I even began to start progressing through Hixiri. Despite my lack of wood, I made a cauldron, struggled with figuring out how it works, but when I did I was gaming. I made a blood sigil, a mortar, and finally I used the mixing cauldron to start making some stuff. You know, this mod pack is an emotional roller coaster, but over the last two episodes we've more or less been able to get ourselves out of the mess and finally really cracking into it. And with the night falling, I decided to turn off my recording, as I just wanted to AFK and talk to my friend until the sun came up, and then I'd continue making bass improvements. Why the fuck do I hear boss music again? What the actual f I can't take it anymore! It doesn't matter what mod I'm playing, every single episode of every single mod is my fucking base getting blown up and I'm so sick of it. And I know you are too. Let it be known that I'm still getting fucked by creepers constantly. But with this terrible turn of events, one might think that I was discouraged. But on the contrary, I gained a stronger conviction. And with that, I did some mining off camera. I now had the patented, easy mob farming, base protecting, infinitely regrowing wall on one side of my base. And with that, and also the now creeper sized hole in the middle of my base, I also finally got around to cleaning up the main room of my base. And with my new year, new me cleaning out of the way, I also made new armor. Using the monster skin and dark metal, I crafted half of the nightmare armor as the mask requires a pretty rare drop. I also had many, many other types of mob drops that I didn't know much about, but knew that they were absolutely fantastic. Additionally, I went back to exploring to find literally two red flowers, which was, uh, fun. 
within a short time frame, I found that I literally had rose bushes right next to my base in the one direction that I didn't explore. But why was I looking for flowers, you may ask? Well, I wanted the engineer's toolbox to continue progressing through sinister engineering, as I really want to craft the Skyhook to eventually make multiple floating platforms off the ground as my base. And I saw some other guy make it and it looks really cool to me. Like it looks really, really cool. But with my now abundance of resources, new armor, weapons, food, coal, ability to go mining, base improvements, and many other things, it was really time to shoot through the main progression line. And I'm sure that won't be a problem, right?